The anterior triangle of the neck is a large triangular space on each side of the neck in front of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The anterior boundary is the midline of the neck from chin to the jugular notch of manubrium. The posterior boundary is the anterior margin of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The superior boundary, or the base of the triangle, is represented by the lower border of the body of the mandible, and the line extending from the angle of the mandible to the mastoid process. The anterior triangle of the neck is subdivided into four smaller triangles by two muscles, the digastricus and the superior belly of the homohyoid. First, we will indicate the digastricus with its two bellies. The anterior belly arises from a depression on the inner side of the lower border of the mandible, called the digastric fossa of mandible. The posterior belly arises from the mastoid notch, which is on the inferior surface of the skull, just medial to the mastoid process. Those two bellies are united by the intermediate tendon, which is held in connection with the greater corno of the hyoid bone by a fibrous loop. The superior belly of Homohyoideus spans almost vertically the infrahyoid region, coming from under the sternocleidomastoideus, to be inserted into the lower border of the hyoid bone. Now we are in a position to indicate the four subdivisions of the anterior triangle of the neck. The submental triangle is the only unpaired triangle of the four divisions of the anterior triangle of the neck. It is bordered laterally by the right and left anterior bellies of the digastric muscles inferiorly is limited by the body of hyoid bone. On this diagram, we can observe half of the submental triangle. The submandibular triangle is bounded above by the lower border of the body of the mandible and the line drawn from its angle to the mastoid process, below by the posterior belly of the digastricus, in front by the anterior belly of the digastricus. The carotid triangle is bounded as follows. Posteriorly, by the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid. Anteroinferiorly, by the superior belly of the homohyoid. Superiorly, by the posterior belly of the digastric muscle. The muscular triangle is bounded in front by the midline of the neck, behind by the anterior margin of the sternocleidomastoid, and above by the superior belly of the homohyoid. Details about the contents of each of these four triangles we will discuss in separate videos.